Hi everyone, welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens, where I keep it planty. My name is Blue Phoenix. Uh, in today's video, I am sharing with y'all some grow tent updates, and then we're repotting some of my philodendron plants and talking about how to transfer some of your plants that are in sphagnum moss onto soil. Hope y'all enjoy. All right, here are my little updates. I've kind of been downsizing my collection. I um, just really want to focus on some other things and instead of instead of just like selling plants. So that's why you all are seeing those changes. Um, and I really appreciate you all uh, really staying with us and um, through all the changes because I mean I really appreciate it like it's just it's awesome so here's some of the um plants as y'all see from the the video here are the Hoyas from the video that's the other uh Hoya Matilde that I thought was that I'm, I'm not sure if Hoya Matilde splash is true so if y'all have any like uh comments on that let me know really would like to know about that i'm doing more research on that as well um and a poente over here is just ready to like bust out and i have to keep it on this because i don't want it to like just flop my little pink princess right here a little escaletto love it um, more Hoyas, my Versada Hoya, uh, Sunrise, Philodendron Burl Marks, Vergata, um, those are Syngonium, uh, Syngonium Wendendelii nodes. Here is my beautiful Syngonium Three Kings. That is just gorgeous. So pretty. Um, this little fella is funny so it's all green but with some variegation isn't that cool like it popped out some variegated variegation on it so i'm gonna grow it out and see how it goes i'll probably do a syngonium video next for y'all We gotta show y'all, I gotta show y'all my begonia taconite because it is growing. Like how amazing is this? Like so beautiful. That foliage is so huge. Let me see if I could That's how it is. Just pop you back over here because I'm scared. Oh no! Here's a little Squammy Ferrum. I think I have to repot this one too because it is about to uh, bust out of its little container over here. This one's my Syngonia Mojito. It has a new little foliage coming out. My other um, Adapuense. And then, this is like, look how gorgeous this is. Oh my word, like, this one's mine, like, this is... Oh, this one's just so gorgeous. I love the foliage on it. What do y'all think? And I'm just keeping it right over here. And then I have other plants over here that I'm bottom watering. So, uh, this is a... 
pink splash syngonium currently needed to be uh, rooted it's it's rooted but like the old foliage is dying off and it's fine here's another uh, syngonium I don't know the name of it I forgot where are you at I gotta show y'all this <sighs> oh no oh no Okay, look at that. <laughs> this is my orange string of hearts. What do you think? <laughs> it needs to be up potted or propagated. I so I propagated my lechleriana. Lechler, so probably need to put you over here somewhere. This is my Philodendron Silver Sword. I think it's so pretty. Little baby with nindly eyes. And then I have this side. This is like two compartments, as y'all see there. So this is a Calathea Dottie. She is always just growing. Henry, where he's growing still also. I worry about the stem, but there's like new growth right there. So I'm just seeing what's going on. You know, like I, I at this point, we're just, we're working on it. There is my Philodendron Squamiferum. Uh, my, the, this one's the Deschidia species AFF uh, Bertonier. My Monstera Escaletto. Um, and then my Syngonium Wendendli. I really like this one. This one's one of my favorite Syngoniums. Um, and then my Phil Edinburgh Marks is down there. In this level, I have like most of my things that um, are rooting and are still working on themselves. So I gotta show you all this. This is my Hoya Incro Imbricata. Yes. So as you see here, I uh, it's growing. It, it was in sphagnum moss, and then I just placed it into here. Here are my uh, Monstera Churiana. This is my Philodendron uh, Florida. Looks so pretty. And look at that new leaf just coming in. I actually need to repot it see that root it's time to repot it so I'm gonna show you how to repot your plants that are in sphagnum moss and then here are like some of my little variegations um, my little variegated plants this is the variegated string of hearts uh, this is actually it was one long strand I cut it in half in here since both of them were already rooted and then put off new growth Plus it was, I had another little strand on there, so I cut it up even more. I sold a couple of them. I have more make, that I'm making, but I think they're really pretty. So I'll just keep let, keep growing them out. And then there's a string of pearls in here and um, the Shidia Iowantha uh, Vergata. It's a Hoya Linearis. I just find sphagnum moss good for me for for my kind of care and like see it's like really dry now so I'll probably have to like moisten it so I'll do that oh no I'll do that tomorrow <laughs> they're okay there they just see like they even if it's 
because sphagnum because sphagnum moss is inert it's not going to cause it to like give it energy or like super like thrive in it but it's not going to cause it to uh, decay so you see this hoya uh, pachyclata in here and it's it has new growth you know and i haven't watered it or you know it's like look at those look at those roots i should just probably repot it now I'm gonna do that in another video <laughs> or probably just on my own I'll probably do my own I'll probably just do a, a short where I'm just doing like all my chores and it's just gonna be like some some nice little music <laughs> but yeah that's what I do I keep all my plants that are uh, that need to just be in sphagnum moss for a while to recover and stuff that was my grow tent updates and then now I'm just going to do a little bit of repotting of my philodendrons over here. So we'll be repotting some of these and then, um, yeah. So sphagnum care, right? Um, sphagnum moss with this, um, for me, it's great because like I said, in when I'm showing you on my grow tent, it's inert material. So it's, um, it's an inert substance. So it doesn't, um, it's not going to give it nutrients, but it's not going to cause it to decay. Uh, so for me, I had great experience with that because of my watering routine and my watering style, my plant care style. So that's how um, it works out for me. Uh, and I just really wait till the plant has substantial roots in there. Like I can visibly see the roots and then I'll repot it. And then, um, as anything, really, whenever you repot it, you're bound to have some sort of, like, little shock go to the plant. And that's, it's just, it is what it is. Um, what you want to do is just make sure the transition is just as smooth as possible. So, um, removing as much of the sphagnum moss from the roots is preferred, I I believe it's preferred uh, because if you have sphagnum moss surrounding the roots when you repot it, you're more of a like you have more of a like you have more of a likely chance of causing your plant root rot, and because of the uh, moisture and the extra excess water surrounding the roots with the moist sphagnum moss and the soil will not be a good mixture for that. So that's why I remove the sphagnum moss. Um, so for the first one, I am going to uh, repot my philodendron in Florida. As you see here, oops, that broke the cup. <laughs> but it has really nice roots and when you want to remove the sphagnum moss you just gently remove it like so see here that's just the way it uh it looks and we'll be repotting it there's some new growth points on it when you're repotting it you want to make sure that you're uh, not covering any open wounds of the plant. And these are just like little temporary solutions. They're not for like, meant for just uh, permanent solutions, you know? I just cut a piece, where did it go? Oh, so I just use jute rope, um, and then I make these uh, jute rope holes, and then I just basically as you see it. Uh, it aligns itself with the pole, so it's a little bit uh, easier to manage in the grow tent.
These juke poles are so versatile. Um, you just kind of like, you could use them for whatever you need them to really. Um, they're great for just temporary support. They're great for like, if you need just to like quickly um, have like plants that are needed to be trellis, like Hoyas. That'd be, these are great. Uh, just a lot of like good little DIYs, you know, like that's just what we need. Plenty DIY. So I'll definitely be uh, making more of those for y'all. Clip off these extras. And there we are. As you see, it looks nice like this. It just has its um, foliage positioned nicely. It's very easy, nicer to manage in the grow tent as well. So because it's not all flopping everywhere so um, that's good so um, this is my little example of my prop box you can find these on my website um, in the plants and more section there is uh, a section of my selections that I that I have on there uh, for sale and uh, I do a lot of like propagation so propagation boxes are always gonna be propagation boxes are always gonna be on there because they're just reusable and they're also um, great to gift as well um, they're the gift that keeps on giving <laughs> so when you're um, when you have a couple of these in here you just want to remove the sphagnum moss as so or like so And you want to do it also when it's dry so that way it's easier to manage as well okay. they're all clustered in there and it has new growth too so we'll just pop all this off Super easy. This is a little variegated uh, stump. So we'll just I'll show y'all. Here's that little stump that I wanted to show y'all. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> the little like half moon variegated burl marks. It looks puny, but like It'll get really big in no time. <laughs> this is like a before, after, before, after. And it just keeps growing. And yeah, I'm actually gonna probably repot this one also. Here is um, a Burl Marks. So, in a new little growth, we're just going to place it into here. Okay. 
And when you're placing this, you want to make sure that none of like exposed parts. And when you're doing this, you just want to make sure that none of like the exposed parts um, are uh, exposed to like exposed to soil. So that way uh, it, does, it doesn't cause any like rot instantly to the plant. So funky but he'll straighten out or do its thing, whatever it wants to do. I have the base of it surrounding in um, sphagnum moss to have more of a stronger root system. So when I do repot it, like right now, it's not gonna cause it too much stress. Okay, and you don't have to really take off all the sphagnum moss, you know, like, so this is how it looks, and it's okay, it'll be okay, you know? So we'll just place my little, my little fella right over here, get some more soil on the roots. If you made it this far uh, into the video, uh, leave a little uh, a little emoji. If you could leave a little like alien emoji, I love the little alien emoji, uh, just to show that you've made it this far, uh, and that way I know that you know you appreciate my content. I um, am always working to try to make uh, really. Uh, fun planty content uh, that I know of my found knowledge and then also that I've uh, gained uh, throughout my experiences. Uh, so, um, you know, when people have those sort of like, I have that, uh, like when they, when they know from experience, they know from experience because I've handled quite a few plants and not all of them have make it. <laughs> None of, not all of them made it, uh, but now they are, and they're thriving, and I know it can help to help them thrive. And that way I can offer that assistance to other people that are also uh, either just starting off or uh, looking for some guidance, you know, like I definitely like to be that Well, this will be good. 
um, the juke pull will be great because then as the other ones are growing, uh, those can just be tied onto this as well. I'm so smart. <laughs> I think it needs a little bit more soil around the base. And that's how it looks. It's been needing a repot for a while, but I have it for sale and it hasn't it hasn't really been like it hasn't uh, no one has bid on it or anything, so like I just kind of I'm gonna repot it because it needs to. <laughs> These little ones, I'll have to find a little pot for y'all or something. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching my video, uh, joining me on my vlogmas this month. I really appreciate you all. You know, all you new subscribers. Also, all the new subscribers to my website. Thank you all so much for joining me on that as well. And my new members for my 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 website. Um, you all are uh, amazing. I really appreciate it. Um, there's there I get to interact with you all through like the blog posts. There's comments that y'all can make on them on there, and then as well as forums. There is also um, a like group. So feel free to join. Uh, I do have it by request so because that way it's just it, all the requests are easier to handle that way uh, but you are more more than welcome to join it's 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 free it's ever-growing community uh, you receive exclusive perks and discounts as well um, as we're setting it, it all up for the new year uh, but yeah I appreciate all your support Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. But can y'all like, this is just the cutest little tiny <laughs> variated stump ever. <laughs> Can't believe this went from this. Bye everyone, I'll see y'all tomorrow.